solo tu kulanga e mauta kita ki au tu mwanga me se tu ba lu fa fine tanata o te a tu nu ku mai te mane apa fai de fa ka bu e solo tu kulanga e mauta kita ki au tu mwanga me se tu ba lu fa fine tanata Tuvalu is a Polynesian island nation in the Pacific Ocean. It's consisted of islands that were formerly known as the Ellis Islands, with a total land area of 26 square kilometers. Tuvalu is one of the smallest countries in the world. In fact, it's only bigger than its Pacific neighbor Nauru, Monaco, and the Vatican. Lying deep in a far-flung section of the South Pacific, the entire nation's land size is only 26 square kilometres. Its 11,000 residents are Polynesian, but as a former British colony, many speak English as well as the local Tuvaluan language. Made up of nine tiny islands, the highest point in Tuvalu is just 4.5 metres above sea level and the average elevation is just 1.8 metres. That makes it particularly vulnerable to rising sea levels. It will be among the first countries in the world to be devastated if predictions about rising sea levels come to pass. This is Tuvalu, a country almost nobody knows. A very small island located in the South Pacific Ocean. It has 12,000 people. For example, he is Tawala. This is their flag. This, their beach. And this is their airstrip, which is also used as a sports field. And as a water park, among other things. Right outside the airport, there is a free shop with a wide variety of products for export. Women use skirts, and men use them too, of course. Their concerns are a little bit different. Talofadato, Kiora, Malo Lule, Talofalava, Nizambula Vinaka, Falofala Hiatu, Kiorana, Talhoni, Kabnabani Mori, in the Ingabongayo. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We are here today to celebrate the Pacific Dance in New Zealand as we celebrate its 10th anniversary today. When a language dies, a culture dies. When a culture dies, our connections, our identity, our ideologies, our history, our spirituality dies. And when a nation disappears due to the adverse of climate change, the integrity, the sovereignty of the people of Tuvalu will disappear and vanish. Our text today. Everything that was written in the past was written to teach us so that through endurance and encouragement they provide, we might have hope. Dance and Fatale in Tuvalu is an ideal, an optimal state and cosmogony that solidify our resilience, our creativity, and that is very paramount to our holistic well-being. And here we are today to announce that the Oakland resident and Tuvaluan heritage dance choreographer and creative Molia Lama Tulafon as its uh, artist 
in residence for 2020. It's a privilege for us to Walloons uh, to have this. And let me say a prayer of blessing. Father God, it is a joy for us as your people, as your community, to be reminded of life. The provision you have given to each and every one of us is the opportunity to utilize our gifts, to utilize the world, the arts, the knowledge, the culture, the creativity, the dance, to uplift glory and to uplift our holistic well-being. And as we celebrate today, the 10th anniversary of the Pacific Dance, we ask you, Heavenly Father, to bless the occasion, bless our program for today, and bless all the artists of New Zealand today. These prayers we bring in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Tāna falava, everybody. Thank you, Reverend Suamarie, for the wonderful prayer to start our program today. And uh, Reverend Suamarie, you borrowed my shirt. Uh, this is when we were doing the COVID messaging about a month ago. Um, it is weird times that we are virtually launching the uh, Artist in Residence program, but I'm very confident that the outcomes of the of the residency will be just as great as they have been in the past. I congratulate you all. I thank you for being with us virtually and uh, uh, particularly to our uh, minister, Minister Carmel Cipolloni. And uh, I wish you uh, health and uh, safety in these troubled times. And most of all, you've got a program now to enjoy. So please enjoy. Nisam Bulavinaka, Talohani, Kiorana, and greetings to you all. It is a, a great pleasure uh, for me to be able to address you today for the launch of Pacific Dance New Zealand's 2020 Artists in Residence program. I'm really sorry we couldn't celebrate this wonderful occasion together uh, in person, but I'm sure that that won't take away from the spirit and joy of uh, today's launch. I've long been an admirer of Pacific Dance New Zealand for its mission of uh, nurturing, promoting and celebrating contemporary Pacific dance initiatives across Aotearoa. And I know that this year especially is a significant year for Pacific Dance New Zealand as it marks its 10th anniversary this year. Congratulations to all involved. And on that note, I'd like to uh, extend my warmest congratulations to the founder and director of Pacific Dance New Zealand, Josefa Inari, uh, whose dedication and passion were recognised in this year's Queen's Birthday Honours List, uh, becoming a member of the New Zealand Order of merit. Congratulations Josefa and thank you for all that you have done to promote a Pacific dance over the course of many years. I also want to acknowledge and congratulate members of the Pacific uh, Island Dance Funnel Trust, uh, the staff and supporters that have contributed to Pacific Dance New Zealand's success over the years. I want to thank you for your immense contribution to the broader Pacific art sector across New Zealand and across uh, the Pacific region and in many instances across the globe. The Artist in Residence program is a brilliant initiative uh, for its promotion of the work of heritage artists as well as for raising New Zealand's awareness of the artistic output of our smaller Pacific Island nations. Uh, the program brings Pacific dance practices to schools across New Zealand and spreads the great joy and creativity of the Pacific around Aotearoa. I was delighted, uh, actually, to learn of the appointment of Ms. Molia Alama 
to La Fono, uh, of Tuvalu, and this year's artist in residence. Molia is an Auckland based choreographer specialising in Tuvaluan artistic practices and is active in promoting Tuvaluan culture and teaching dance and, and costume making. And I have no doubt that Molia will be a wonderful ambassador for Tuvalu and for our broader Pacific community. Uh, I'm sure Molia will play a wonderful role in expanding our appreciation of the brilliance and richness of Tuvaluan culture. As the Associate Minister of Arts, Culture and Heritage and the Associate Minister for Pacific Peoples and uh, also as a Pacific person, it's so important to me that we continue to nurture and celebrate Pacific arts, uh, not only so that they may continue to thrive here in New Zealand, but also uh, across the Pacific and the world. Initiatives like this will also undoubtedly inspire the next generation of artists who will take Pacific arts boldly and confidently into the future. And on behalf of the government, I want to say to all of you, thank you so much for that. I wish you all the very best in this role, Morlea, and to Pacific Dance New Zealand, my congratulations and best wishes once again. Faftai lava, mālo albito. Talofa, warm Pacific greetings to you all. Emo mo si gifagatay de atua o na kote na talofa mo na tafai ko mafai fagatau nu manui neia de fagamoy moy ngate ne. First and foremost, I would like to give thanks to our heavenly Father for His unconditional love and blessings upon us and the launch of Pacific Dance New Zealand's 10th anniversary and Artists in Residence 2020. I would also like to acknowledge Mana Whenua, Tangata Whenua, for the land we stand on. I would also like to acknowledge our Tupunga, our ancestors, for their legacies and for their shoulders that we stand on. For that, I pay tribute to them and honour them. In addition, I would like to acknowledge the Honourable Minister Carmel Sepuloni, the Associate Minister for Arts, Culture and Heritage for her speech and addressing the launch of Pacific Dance New Zealand's 10th anniversary and Artists in Residence, Whakawhitai Lassi. Thank you also to Reverend Elder Suomalie Yosefa Naisali for the opening prayer and blessings opportunity to make the following acknowledgements to the Chair of Pacific Dance, Tawaleo Stephen Sterling, Director of Pacific Dance, Yosefa Inari, Pacific Dance Board Members and Farnau. I convey my sincere gratitude to you all for this incredible opportunity as your Pacific Dance Artist in Residence for 2020. I would also like to extend my acknowledgement to Te Manawa at Westgate, Creative New Zealand, Foundation North, Massey Henderson Local Board and Auckland Council for supporting this residency. Last but not least, I would like to also acknowledge Tuvalu Auckland Community Trust, Nukulailai Island Community, Mānianē Dance, Cultural Advisor by Luanga Filippo Yosefa. Thank you all so much for your love and support. My dance journey has, has come this far and been amazing because of the many people that are paddling along with me. 
It is always inspiring to see our young people connect to our Tuvalu culture, language and arts through dance. That is the beauty and passion behind it all. A significant highlight of my dance journey is becoming Pacific Dance Artist in Residence for 2020 and celebrating its 10th anniversary. I am delighted, honoured and grateful for this opportunity and to be a part of this important milestone for Pacific Dance New Zealand. The residency opportunity opens up new pathways to explore the digital space, mainstream space, education space and the arts landscape. I am looking forward to sharing my skills and experience with everyone and empowering our Pacifica Aotearoa people through dance and storytelling. I am also looking forward to developing leadership, dance creativity and innovation. In conclusion, the opening theme for the residency is titled Sautalanga Ataudai, Ge Mau Tau Foe. This translates into keeping the dialogue strong and active between our Tuvaluan, our Pacifica, our Aotearoa people and capture those koloa taua treasures to enable us to propel our vaka forward. Ge Mau Tau Foe. Let's keep paddling. Ge manuia tātou te alofa o te atua. Whakawhitai lasi. Whakawhitai kai whakamalo Ko te whanga i te ngari o ao whanga Ko ma whai o maua se whakamoi moinga Mo te lei te manu i ao tuvalu, ao te aroa, a tae ao. Whakawhita i kai whakamalo, ko ta whanga i te ngari o ao whanga. Ko ma whai o maua se whakamoe moinga Mo te lei te manu i ao tuvalu ao te aroa a tae ao Kilo 